Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. A few weeks ago, my parents moved house and they've been there 17 years. So they had a load of my old toot um, hiding away in the attic in the cupboard. And I'd hope they'd forgotten about it, but uh, they brought it all over. And it's been quite nice actually going through all these old mem memories in object and form, tangible memories. And uh, one of the things they brought with them was my fossil collection. As a kid growing up, I used to be passionate about dinosaurs, like many boys are. And I used to love all that stuff. And I used to collect fossils. And this is one of my prime joys. This is a, an ammonite. Um, there's another little bit of an ammonite there. Um, uh, here's a bellamite. Got plenty of those bad boys. I even have a trilobite, although I had to pay money for that one. I think my parents paid for it, really, but uh, the trilobite there. And and here uh, is my shark's teeth collection. Growing up, I used to uh, go down to Walton on the Nays, the beach, and uh, collect these uh, prehistoric shark's teeth, which uh, kind of uh, would wash up in the shingle on the shore. I spent hours sifting through that stuff to find them. Um, the reason I'm talking about fossils is because the passage I'd like to look at today is, uh, it's not from today's reading uh, in the One Year Bible, it's from a few days ago, from November the 4th, but it's this lovely passage from Ezekiel chapter 11, verses 18 to 19, and it says this, he's talking about the exile, the people of God who've been exiled. He says this, when the people return to their homeland, they will remove every trace of their vile images and detestable idols, and I will give them singleness of heart and put a new spirit within them. I will... Take away their stony, stubborn heart and give them a tender, responsive heart. It's a lovely passage. Um, uh, literally, it's the gift of a, a heart of flesh in contrast to a heart of stone. But I like that translation, a tender, responsive heart. Uh, we might say a soft and a supple heart that uh, responds to God, that beats for him. And uh, the danger is, of course, that over time, imperceptibly, and the devil plays a long game with our hearts. And whilst we might be engaged in all sorts of uh, great spiritual activities and working for the Lord and projects, uh, kingdom projects, um, that actually um, our faith becomes formulaic. And the heart of it, the love of God, the passion for him drops off the agenda. We, and our faith becomes a, a fossil of a former love. And uh, we need to watch for that. And, and perhaps the challenge this week is to sort of shake off the, uh, the crystals from our, our heart to stop them fossilising or growing cold and take the temperature on our heart. I realised recently that my prayer life had become quite functional and I hadn't made much time for that unstructured um, prayer to God without agenda. That was just me pouring out the things in my heart, my stresses, my woes, my, my triumphs, my tragedies and, and all of that kind of stuff. And just listening for God's heartbeat in all of that. Because without that soft, supple, beating heart at the centre of all things, our discipleship becomes a fossil. The fossil of a former love. And our spirituality looks more akin to the faith of the Pharisees than the living and passionate uh, faith of our Lord Jesus.